Hello Tubers! Um, as you see, today I'm out again doing my fossil things. Um, in Bedfordshire, down near Luton, and uh, we're looking for in Cretaceous chalk. Uh, looking for anything really at the moment. I've not been here before and thought I'd give it a visit. It's an old quarry. It's uh, about 40 years ago, this area. The quarry uh, packed up. And uh, nowadays it seems to be visited mostly by people on uh, you know, these cross-country bike things and uh, tearing around. But uh, wonderful, if you look behind me, these wonderful reeds. Uh, obviously very muddy here often. We haven't had much rain lately, so it's all dried out. Uh, Going to be looking for fossils and um, obviously a couple of friends with me over here. There we go. And uh, we're going to see what we can do. Uh, speak to you soon. Bye. Oops, I hope it's on. Is it on? Yep. OK, well, I'll just... Uh, just round here, we're at the base of these rather precarious looking rocks. Um, if, if we look, uh, bits fall off here. It's quite dangerous, uh, in, especially in high winds or anything like that. Um, as you see, it's quite overgrown at the bottom as well. But I've just come down here, and you see we're tapping away at some of these fallen boulders. And uh, the one, what I've just hopefully found is, uh, if I can zoom in, the problem is I can't really see what I'm doing half the time on the. There's, uh, oops. Uh, hopefully here you can see, uh, but I can't see what's happening in the lens, because the sun's on it. I think just here, uh, what we have is a bit of ammonite. I'm going to try and get this out. It's a very white, chalky uh, rock. Uh, I'll let you know how to get on and have a look in a minute. Oh well, uh, got it out. It was a little brachiopod. Um, it wasn't an ammonite at all. However, um, doesn't matter, we carry on, it's only the first few minutes. See how we get on. Bye. Um, I think it peters out, Steve. Hmm? It looks like it peters out. Look, it did. Where it, was. it did peter out. Oh, what's that? Let's see. Have a look. Hang on. I mean, it could, that could well, just feels, be. Yeah, but it feels it's different. A curve. Is there, where did that come out of? We don't know, do we? There. Well, Steve, I think there's something here as well. Yeah, we've got a lot of these look like sandstone areas. Um, but at the same time, thank you for warning me you're about to do that. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, she's doing well. You got your goggles on? No, I've got one at the moment. You want them, Dave? That's right. Are you I'm careful? Trying to get this out. If you hit anything, you've got to shut your eyes. That's the problem. And we'll have another look at this bit, and I'll give her a hand. Because I like watching, but... I wish the rock would crack. I need it to crack in half again. Everyone turn away. Everyone turn away, Roz is going to do a cracking. She's a hard woman. No, I'm still no nearer, just easier to... I'll have a go, we'll have a little go. Well, we found some impressions of some various bivalves, um, uh, as we have just here, some bivalve stuff. Unfortunately, it was um, too deteriorated to really take out as a fossil. But uh, the actual shell itself is more or less disintegrated. But over here, uh, Ros is working on... Oh, if I can get through this undergrowth, ah, through the thorns. Um, yeah, we're working on this thing here. Uh, let me zoom in so we can have a look. It's a thing. Definitely Short. a thing. Well, we reckon it might be... Let's have the professional Copulite. Thank you. Uh, that's my guess, anyway. It's probably something like shark poo. But uh, you never know what you're going to get till you look, do you? And uh, Ros is determined to find out how big this sh possible shark poo is. Still going down. Yeah. Lost it. We'll have a look at it later. Might be totally wrong. I don't know what else it could be. I mean, it, it looks like the right shape for poo. Isn't it? Yeah, but shark poo, are you an expert? No. There you go then. Other suggestions, please? So this is this is Amy, the younger member of our team. 
It's also my neighbour. She's the same girl that found ammonites in her fossil, fossil gravel. And uh, she's with us today and she's having a go at this uh, piece of what we reckon is shark poo. Because basically we've been on our knees too much and really hurts. You enjoying yourself there, Amy? Alright. It's alright. It's alright. See well, we've managed to pull that piece out, but uh, she put it, she packed it away in a bag now, so I haven't got it out to have a look at. I'll probably look at that later. Um, however, we've been uh, it's been getting a bit of snow blindness here. This this is an amazing sight, as in uh, to look at this wonderful chalk cliffs. Let's see if I can just get some pictures up here without being too windy. Um, Quite, quite dangerous in many ways because it's very, very loose rock, and you have to constantly keep out, look out for rock falls. But um, I can't even see what you're seeing. Ah, is that better? Ah, but I did the whole thing on that. Anyway, very windy now, and here they come. Found anything? Yeah. What? Impression. Ah. Okay. Oh, bit windy. Still looking, but the problem with this sort of uh, chalk is you don't find a great deal in it. It's very hard to find things. Uh, it's an awful lot of work, cracking in an awful lot of boulders. And I'm watching at the same time for uh, motocross bikers and, of course, falling rocks. Anyway, here we go. Okay, we'll carry on. Generally, the problem with chalk is it doesn't fossilise very well. We get bits like the, obviously this bivalve here but if I try to even pick at that it's just gonna fall apart and there'll be nothing much left of it uh, go further down the rock here and we've got oh thank you you pick it at then instead of what I'm doing there more of this sort of Hang on, <laughs> what we're calling sharp coprolite yes <laughs> coprolite um, there's something in this floor. and there are things in there but they're very very difficult to get out but Nevertheless, it is 100% evidence of life in Middle England, sea life, from the Cretaceous period. And it's quite satisfying just having a day looking round it. They're going to build some houses on here soon apparently. I don't know if it's the exact spot, but I doubt it somehow. <laughs> No, not this spot, but uh, nearby. Uh, it's very windy again, so I'm going to carry on. You may chop at it now. Can I borrow your thingy? You certainly can. Chisel. 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 Okay. Oh, it's really windy here now. I've just been called over. I uh, don't know what they've got. I hope they haven't found something I wanted. It's mine, ah, still windy, I'm afraid. Uh, yeah, echinoid, that's what I was trying to think of earlier. I said crinoid, it's echinoid. It's a beautiful piece. I'm so glad I found it and uh, I chopped um. it out, and therefore I should keep it. What do you think? I found it, so I should keep it. Mm, we'll share it. I'll, you can have it tomorrow, and then I'll have it. <laughs> Okay, anyway, I suppose I better let her have it. Beautiful little piece. Excellent stuff.